What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method. Happy New Year and welcome to day one of the Transform program, a program we're gonna be working through for the next six weeks. We got some tweaks to the program, so we're gonna change up the warmups. And in your Train Heroic app, you're actually now going to be able to track uh, our strength exercises. So every day, at least Monday through Thursday, we're gonna have some specific exercises, particularly the first three or four, that I want you to track your progress on. And every week, we're gonna try to push that a little bit, either with weights, sets, reps, very similar to what we were doing before, but now there's an actual spot to track it in the app. Let's hop into our warm up, and then we'll jump in to that first circuit. We're gonna start off the warm up with a three minute AMRAP that's specific to upper body, which is what we're doing today. So in that three minutes, we're gonna go as many rounds as you can. We wanna use a pace that's nice and slow. We're just trying to warm up. We're gonna go 10 plank shoulder taps. So you're gonna be on your hands in a plank position. You're gonna keep your core tight. One, two, just tap the shoulders. From there, we're going five handcuffed with rotation. So you're gonna lay on your belly or a bench. You're gonna put your hands behind your back like you're getting handcuffed. And then you're gonna to try to lift your hands as high off you can off your back slowly reach out over the side. When you get to about here, your palms are gonna to start to rotate and you're gonna reach overhead and rotate your back of your hand. So you're basically like trying to rotate the arms all the way around from here. I like to do it on a bench. So you lay flat on a bench if you have it, handcuff position, come out wide. We wanna go really slow on this because it's a little bit of a precarious position. Just take your time, loosen up those shoulders. And then we're going into 10 Cobra push-ups. So you're gonna be down on your belly, hands tight to your side, extend up through those elbows, lock out, leave the lower body on the ground. After you finish a cycle, you're just gonna repeat that for three minutes. Any questions, team? Let's do it. 10 second countdown. Let's get into it. We got uh, plank shoulder taps, handcuffs, 10, five, 10. Three, two, one, three minutes on the clock. Take your time. You can do this on your knees if you can't hold up a plank. Hop up. I'm handcuffs with rotation. Coming out all the way around. Try to rotate those palms up nice and slow. Five reps on the handcuff with rotation. Going into 10 Cobras. Cobra push-ups. Leave that lower body on the ground. Extend up, lock out the elbow. 10 reps. This is the big warm up to what we're gonna do today. Restart back to the beginning, 10, ten, ten shoulder taps. One, two, cycle through. <coughs> Take your time. Again, this is just a warm up. So we're not gonna race through it. Five seconds. Lock out those elbows, squeeze the chest in that cobra push up. Five 
in 10. Stopping. Four, two, one, and rest team. We've got a minute 30 on the clock. We're gonna get into our first exercise here. All right, so we got a couple of straight sets here, meaning we're gonna do one exercise for 40 seconds, rest for 40 seconds, and repeat that for three sets this week. Our first exercise up is a dumbbell push press. So you're gonna need two dumbbells. It's a bit of a power movement for your shoulders. So you're gonna rack those dumbbells up on your shoulders. Elbows tucked forward, chest nice and tall. Now what makes it a push press is that we get a little leg drive. So we're gonna dip at the legs and hips a little bit, get to about right here and explode, and then press with the arms, reset back down to the shoulders with your legs straight, and do it again. So I'm here, I'm acting like I'm about to sit down, driving and pressing. So that first couple of inches actually comes from the legs, and then the arms take over to lock out and reset. You should be able to go a little heavier on this than you would on a normal shoulder press because you get some leg drive. <clears throat> Challenge yourself. If you're unfamiliar with the movement, go lighter. We have two more sets after this so you can build up. I'm gonna start off with 35s, see how the shoulders feel and uh, I'll, I'll adjust from there. Any questions? We good? 10 seconds team, first set, 40 seconds we're doing here. Reese, uh, short breaks are okay. Two, and work team. Up on the shoulders, take your time, chest up, dip, drive, reset. Brace your abs, nice and tall. Lock out, everything should be in a nice straight line overhead. Two, one, and rest team. All right. 40 seconds, rest, recover, walk it off. Ask yourself how that first set felt. Was that challenging enough? Stay at that same weight. If it was a little heavy and you found yourself needing to take breaks, shave a few pounds off, I'm gonna stay there. This is an exercise you can track in the app. So I'd put in 35 pounds, or whatever exercise or whatever weight you use for that set. That way next week when we come back to it, you know exactly what you did. 10 seconds team. Set number two. In four, two, one. Let's work. Dip, drive, lock out. Come on. Two, one, rest. One more set, team. Woo! It's getting a little tough. Should feel this, shoulders, triceps, a little bit of legs, a little bit of core. We got one more set. Drop the weight if you need to. If you're starting to struggle, if you're not able to lock out, lower that weight, no egos. 20 seconds. <clears throat> Six, team, pick it up. Three, two, one, last one, take your time. You can take a little deep breaths at the bottom, reset. Come on. Two, one, rest team. 
Woo! All right. We are done with the push presses. We got a minute and a half rest. We're on exercise number two. All right. We're doing a dumbbell seal row. We actually did this last cycle as well. I just really like it. So, if you have a bench, you're gonna put it on the lowest incline you can without your hands touching the floor. We're gonna take two dumbbells. We're gonna lay on our belly on the bench with our chin over the top. And you're gonna have dumbbells hang straight down, chin, head, neutral. Think about pulling the dumbbells back towards your hips, nice and slow down. We don't wanna to pull towards the shoulder. We wanna keep the elbow fairly tight and pull back here. We're gonna go 40 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest, three sets, exact same format. If you don't have a bench, you can just do it standing up. So if you have a bench that doesn't incline or you don't have a bench that you feel comfortable doing that on, you can just do it standing up. Bend at the knees, try to get your he uh, hips and chest as perpendicular to the floor as you can, and drive back. I'm gonna go with 35s here on this as well. See how it feels. We wanna really control the movement. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Eight seconds, team. Set number one coming up. Three, two, and work. Race, pull, squeeze. Don't fight them too high. Get whatever your shoulder is able to do. Keep your head down, don't crane your neck. seconds team I would say be it is week one of the program so I'd say be conservative with the weights you use we got six more weeks of building although we may swap some of these exercises out during the six weeks maybe progress two different types of back exercises we go through so don't go crazy on day one is basically what I'm saying 15 seconds set number two get set up in eight, five, three, two, one. Look for a nice stretch at the bottom and pull. Stretch, pull. seconds. Two, one, rest team. One more set, walk it off. Should be feeling this in your biceps, back muscles, right underneath the armpit, across the upper back, yeah. Set number three, final set team. Then we'll have a nice little break. We'll move on to our third exercise and our final straight set. <clears throat> In eight, five, three, two, and work. Come on. seconds. Short breaks are okay. Try to get right back into it. Two, one, and rest team. A minute 30. Let's recover. Our third straight set coming up next. 
All right, team, we are gonna do a decline dumbbell chest press here. Now, a lot of you guys might not have a decline bench, so I'm gonna give you the option of going with a flat bench or an incline bench. Either way, we don't want anything too severe. So if you're gonna go incline because you don't have decline, go to about a 15 or 30 degree incline. If you don't have that, you can go flat. If you don't have a bench at all, you can do this on the floor. A couple of key points about pressing is that we always want hands and elbows at about a 45 degree angle. So we're thinking about dropping our shoulders. We're here, we don't wanna be here, we don't wanna be here. We're right in the middle. We're gonna come down nice and low, get a good stretch in the chest, press up and lock out. You don't have to bring the dumbbells together if you don't want. Nice and slow back down and drive back up. I'm gonna do mine on an a decline because I have that available. We get a little bit more lower pec involvement like this. It's the same type of movement as anything else though, except it's gonna feel like it's pushing away from you a little bit. So I'm here, pressing straight up, locking out, nice and slow down, back up. We're going 40 seconds each set, 40 seconds, 50s. We good? Let's do it. In three, one. Boy, I might have to increase those rest breaks, give me more time to talk. First set, 40 seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, team. Oh, if you don't have a decline, you have a flat bench, you can always prop it up on something. You can put the base up on a plate, a couple of books, something that's sturdy that doesn't slide off, but that's a way to get to a decline if you don't have. <clears throat> Another set coming up, team. Set number two. 12 seconds. Take your time. Nice and slow down. Eight. Three. One. And work. Press. Two, one, rest. We got one more set. If you're having trouble dismounting off your bench, just drop them, let the elbows extend, and then do the sit up, reset those dumbbells. <clears throat> we got 20 seconds. Final set. I'm gonna stick with the 50s this week. Feeling pretty tough. Ten seconds, let's start setting up. Final set. Push yourselves here, team. Two, one, let's go. If you need a little rest, just lock out and hold at the top. Try to catch your breath there. Recuperate. Come on. <laughs> Two, one, rest. All right, team. Woo! All right. That was three, right? Make sure I'm right. Yeah. All right, we're on to the third, or the fourth, fifth exercise circuit. A little rest, team. This time we have a nine minute mom. 
So we got three exercises, and EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So each exercise of the three gets a dedicated minute, a dedicated number of reps. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute after you finish the reps. So in our first minute, we're doing 10 dumbbell curls. Now this is actually a low number, so we can go a little heavier here if you can. We're gonna start out with two dumbbells, one by your side, you're gonna curl both at the same time, let the palms rotate up, back down, face your side, back up, squeeze, 10 reps. From there, we're going into 10 dumbbell skull crushers in the second minute. So you're gonna lie on your back. You can do this on a bench, you can do this on the floor. Arms are straight up. You're gonna bring the dumbbells to the side of your head, squeeze back up and lock out. Only moving at the elbows. I made this rest break too short for me to talk to you. Get a little extra rest. You can do it on a bench. You can do it on a decline, actually. You can do it on an incline. You can play around with this a little bit if you want, guys. I might play with it on the decline if you have a decline bench. A lot of you are gonna have the floor or a flat punch. Come to the side of your head, squeeze back up. We wanna target the triceps. That's 10, 10 reps in the second minute. The final minute is 10 Y raises. So we're gonna take two light dumbbells. I'm gonna go maybe 10s or 15s. You can do this on a bench, on an incline, or you can do it bent over. So you, if you're gonna do it bent over, you're gonna bend at the hips and knees, you're gonna raise up to a Y position. So we're trying to get to this position. Don't fight how high you can get. Your shoulders will dictate that. If you have a bench, you're gonna put up in about 30 degrees. You can chest support yourself like we did for the rows and do the exact same thing here. Then you don't have to worry about kind of holding that low back position. But it's totally up to you and depending on what equipment you have. I'm gonna do it on the bench because I'll get more out of it. I can not focus on my hips and low back and really focus on the shoulders. Any questions, team? Dumbbell curls, skull crushers, Y raises, 10 reps each. We're going 12 seconds. I'm gonna go 25 pounders on the curl. 10 good reps. Take your time, let the elbow lock out fully at the bottom. Three, and work. Curl, 10 reps. You have the full minute to complete these. Elbow lock out, keep them right by your side. <sighs> 10 good reps, team. We got 23 seconds for you to finish. Rolling skull crushers. I'm gonna go uh, 20 pounders on these skull crushers. I'm gonna do it on a decline. See how it feels. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's work. 10 reps. Nice and slow. Drive back up, lock out. Come on. 10 reps. Woo! So good. 17 seconds. We're going on an incline if you got it. Standing up. No Y raises for 10 reps. Control those arms coming back down at the start. In five, two, and work. 10 good reps. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together.
seconds, team. We are back to the top. There's no additional rest here. We're back to curls. In 10. Six, come on. I'm gonna go 30s on. Fun. And work. Abs tight. Rotate nice and slow down. 10 reps. We got 18 seconds team, we got skull crushers. In 10, let's start setting up. 10 good reps. Three, one, let's work. Nice and slow. a long workout we're almost through it week one day one that's how we roll two and work ten reps and then we got one more round through this and then a final finisher having fun yet? I am. Come on. And seconds. We're back to the top with curls. I'm sticking with 30 for the final set. Two. And work. Keep those arms by your side. Curl. Nice and slow down. 10 reps. Team, taking short breaks if you need it. You got the whole minute. <clears throat> Skull crushers in ten seconds. In five, three, one, let's go. Ah. 
I raise this team. Ten seconds. Final set, and then we got a nice break. And we're into our final circuit of the day. Two, one, and work. Ten of them. Seconds to finish. A little extra rest. I'm gonna clean up my dumbbells. We don't need a bench anymore, so if it's in your way, you can slide it out of the way. We're in three, two, one, and rest, team. All right, the final circuit of the day is a bit of a burnout. Or it is a burnout circuit, actually. So, we're going EMOM format, except a little different. So we only have one circuit, essentially, two kind of. So in this minute, or each minute, I should say, you're gonna max out on hand release push-ups. The remainder of the minute, you're either gonna do up-downs or V-ups, we're gonna alternate every other minute. So in the first minute, you're gonna max out on your uh, hand release push-ups. So what that looks like is you're here, you're gonna go all the way down to the ground, lift the hands off, try to keep the knees and the hips up, and then come up in one unit. If you can't come up in a full unit, you can kind of warm your way up a little bit, but try to go down in one unit. You're gonna do as many reps as you can until you hit failure. Then with the remainder of the minute, you're gonna do up-downs in the first minute. Actually, let me give you a modification though. If you can't do any push-ups, you can do them on your knees and do it hand release like this as well. So once you're burnt out on that, the rest breaks, too short. Once you're burnt out on that in that minute, you're gonna finish off with up-downs, which are just jump back, jump in, and stand up. Or as we also know it, a burpee, no push-up, no jump. That's the first minute. In the second minute, you're gonna do the push-ups again till failure. But instead of doing up-downs with the rest of the minute, you're gonna do V-ups. So your hands are gonna go up, we're gonna come up and touch shins or toes. Nice and slow down, boom. You're trying to get your chest up and your legs. If you can't do that, you can modify and just come to the knees. And if you can't do that, you can just come up and crunch and bring the knees in as much as you can. Or do a little reverse crunch like so. This is your kind of failure or fatigue point, which I'll probably get to because this is gonna be hard. As you can imagine, your push-ups are gonna fall off because you're getting basically no rest between each set, and we're doing abs and cardio. So you're gonna fail on chest quicker and quicker and get more abs and cardio work as we go. Any questions? This all makes sense? Let's do it. We got a one second countdown. <laughs> Hand release push-ups until failure, and then up-downs next minute. In three, two, one, let's work. This first minute, you guys may be able to go the whole time with nothing. If you're good at push-ups, but you won't last into the second minute. Starting to fail, go to those up downs. Come on. If you're taking too long of a rest at the bottom, go to up downs. Five, three, keep pushing up if you can keep going. We're in our V-up round. So back to push-ups. I'm almost failing because I worked my way through the whole round. 
And now I'm gonna go into V ups. Because I basically worked through the whole minute. <laughs> and then went in. Oh. Do V ups for the rest of the minute. When we get back to the next minute, you're going back to push ups. Three, one, back to your hand release push ups. That's the transition time, and maybe shake it out. And now we're in our up down round again. So if you fail, go back to up downs. All right, I'm going up down. Ten. Back to push ups. Three. One. Rest. Well, no rest. You can take a couple seconds if you need it. Go right back to your push ups. We're back into our V up round. Thirty seconds. Let's see. Fifteen. Six. Two. One. Press. Or no push up, push up, push ups and up downs. Come on, team. we're almost there. Halfway through this. Take your time. Good reps only. We're going up down. Seven, two, one. Push ups again. Push -ups. <laughs> oh. Modify to the knees if you need to. I might have to at some point. Oh, I'm on V-ups. If you're warming up, go to your V-ups. I don't want to see any cheating up. Oh. One second. Three, one, rest. No push ups. We're on our up downs and push ups team. Sorry, I keep saying rest. I'm used to some rest in here.
12 seconds. Let's work, team. Come on. Let's grind time. Last two minutes coming up. Three, one. Last minute. Push ups, V ups. Come on. This is it. And we are done. I'm dropping like a bag of rocks. <laughs> One of the ups. 35 seconds. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> 12. Five, three, two, one, and done, team. Woo! <coughs> awesome work, guys. Day one of the Transform program is in the books. Awesome work, guys. Another year to get after it. I'm so excited about this program. Hope you guys enjoy the next six weeks. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, place with a lower body workout. Track your progress. Make sure you log into the Train Heroic app and track those push presses, seal rows, and decline presses if you did them. We're gonna be doing them again next week. I want you to progress. Have an awesome rest of your day, team. Remember, you don't have to work out, you get to. Have a good one.